Firstly to my left in the blue corner, trained by Phil Renata at Tar Team Napui in Toowoomba. Last night of the way, and he came in at 105.8 kilograms. He hails from Toowoomba, he's wearing blue tie shorts with gold tie riding. Record of three fights for one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve the Bulldozer Carter. And now to my right, in the red corner, trained by Richard Walsh at the Urban Fight Gym. Last night of the way, and he came in at 105 kilograms even. He hails from Benoa, wearing blue shorts with Punish emblazoned across the front. He's making his Muay Thai debut. Ladies and gentlemen, Little John. Fires the sensory. Joining Little John versus Steve the Bulldozer Carter. Want a good clean fight? If I say break, break. Otherwise, step back, keep your hands up at all times and come out fighting. Let's go. Rexy, the rumble red in there in centering, mate, being absolutely uh, towered over by these two boys. <laughs> but Little John very well put together, 105 kilos. Uh, Rexy, already, <laughs> the boys are looking to get it going before the bell, the bell goes off there, Johnny. But I tell you what, this one, uh, mate, the, so we've got the heavyweights to start the night and the heavyweights to finish the night, so this will be, uh, be interesting to see how Little John goes making his debut here tonight. Yeah, Rumble Rex Redden will have his work cut out for him, trying to separate uh, these two big boys in centre ring. Uh, as Little John unloads with a nice teeth and now following up with short punches over there in the blue corner. You can already see both boys, Johnny Little John making his debut and uh, Steve the Bulldozer Cutter, both boys are uh, you know, fairly, uh, fairly much novices to the ring, but both boys keeping a very high and very tight guard, which is good to see. And as mentioned, uh, this fight proudly brought to us uh, by Network Video. Yeah, great sponsors on board with uh, Paul Demacol. He's got a great team of sponsors behind him and uh, thanks him for their support all the time. Already a huge wealth appearing on the ribcage of uh, Steve the Bulldozer Carter. On that left ribcage, John. And uh, so what little John uh, just continually walking forward at the moment, making his debut. Uh, the Bulldozer's had three fights, sorry, four fights, three fights and, uh, and a draw. So it's... Uh, it's unusual to see a guy making his debut being on the front foot so much in, the, in his first fight. It's good to see both boys just keeping a good high guard. Looks like a bit of a low kick there. Oh, those are grimaced a little bit, they're not sure they're caught a little bit low. But, uh, good looping left hand there, but just using the English for those. Tell you what, man, these, these big boys there locked up uh, locked up there in the neutral corner. Tell you what, if they, they unload and get some of these kicks in, and some good strong knees there from Little John. Yeah, Little John just continually uh, pushing forward. As uh, said, all those are carded. Just, uh, not sure. Rex, Rex, yeah, look, Rex hasn't called a time out there or, or hasn't put a count on there, so I'm not sure what... He's just uh, he's letting uh, Steve the Bulldozer card and just get his breath back, but I said he hasn't called a time out or, or put a count on there. Yeah, just saying to Little John just to watch his knees there, so probably should have called a time out on that one, but back in centre ring and uh, the Bulldozer putting his hands out to touch gloves and Little John having nothing to do with it. <laughs> So when you've got a 105 kilo boy walking across the, the ring edge with punish written across the front of his shorts, you've got to be worried. Round number one. I'll lock that round the way to uh, little by John. Network video. Round two. I said very impressed with the physique of uh, little John at 105 kilos as well. But uh, take nothing away from the bulldozer trained by uh, Phil Renata. Phil Renata's been around for a long, long time. Produced some great fighters, the Warren brothers out of Toowoomba there. Just a slip there over in the red corner by the bulldozer as uh, little John continues to push forward. It's interesting the fight names of these boys, Little John. We don't know what uh, but Little John's surname is, but uh, I know Nugget's got a fighter they call Little B, who's uh, just a little lightweight, and uh, then we've got Little John at 105 kilos. Slightly ranking there from Little John. Good tight guard from both boys. You know, the basics in, in centering there, Johnny. Both boys keeping a good tight guard. Another slapping low kick there from Little John. Stance. Now, good to see him using the angles. He just has little John's walking forward. He's looping around his left and using the left. Good take there from, from the bulldozer as well. Yeah, that's a bit of work from the bulldozer. Little, little John just hasn't given him a chance to put any combinations together of any sort. I think the bulldozer's just been consigned to 
single shots at this stage. Again, interesting to see the, uh, the bulldozer just put his hands out there just to acknowledge something there with Little John. Little John having nothing to do with that, but he just wants to get it on in the centre ring. A nice left jab from the bulldozer straight through the guard of Little John. Oh, a big right hand there from, from Little John over there in the corner. Looks like he's a... Uh, Steve the bulldozer card has lost his mouth cut there. The rumble they're treating this boy, putting it back in his mouth. Again, <laughs> again you can see there the, the bulldozer just putting his hand out there, but little John nothing, wants nothing to do with the, the gratuities there in the centre ring. So a couple of times it looks like their bulldozer has almost uh, thrown an elbow in close, but uh, I think he's realising that it's modified tyre, so they're not allowed to throw the elbows, but I'll tell you what, I think he's looking forward to using it in his fight career. Another good second round there from both boys. and. Uh, that's the end of round number two. Little John, Steve Carter. And Johnny, got to be impressed. Uh, Paul Demacoli, mate. The ring girls that he's got up here in Queensland. And uh, the V dancing team he's got coming up later on. I tell you what, mate, they breed them uh, very well this up here in Queensland. Well, I'll reserve my round. comments <laughs> other than to say that uh, Paul Demacoli and Prophecy Promotions just uh, putting on a very professional uh, show here this evening in terms of setup and, uh, and the uh, trimmings that go with it, Johnny, as little John continues to work the knees there in the clinch over in the blue corner. Yeah, it's not all about what happens in centre ring, John, you've got to keep the crowd entertained outside the ring as well, and, uh, and Paul's done a great job. But again, big thanks to Network Video for getting behind this, uh, this first bout of the night. See you later on uh, tonight, and, and Johnny, this uh, this show also fightbet.com.au being able to place bets on all these fights, and uh, Paul Demacoli taking it to the next step as well. Even on Twitter, you can keep up date, uh, updated with Paul Demacoli and, and Prophecy Promotions on Twitter. Well, if I was a betting man, uh, I would have. If I backed the little John, I'd be pretty happy at the moment because uh, he just continues to push forward. Really not letting uh, the bulldozer settle into any rhythm whatsoever. Here we are in the, probably halfway through the third and final round and uh, little John continues on the offence but keeping a, a nice tight guard at the same time, Johnny. Yeah, he's fought a very technical fight. Yeah, he has. And look, quite a few times we've seen uh, Steve Carter use the teak to, to his advantage. And he should be doing that, especially in the John final round. All the time. Use that teak to keep him away. You can see there he's up against the ropes, he's trying to get it up. But now as he's coming forward, use the teak to keep him away. Yeah. Exactly, there, there you go there. And it's, and it's put little John on the back That's what he needs to do, give himself a bit of space. Yeah, well, it's good to see the bull that those have hurt you, <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure he's listening to me, but I'm sure he's listening to, to Phil Renata and the boys in the corner. But, uh, you know, they're the sort of things you've got to learn from this. And look, he'll sit back at the end of the day and, and, uh, and watch this, this fight. And he'll, he'll take it into his next fight. And these are the things that he learn by. You can see Rexy Redden encouraging the boys there in the centre. Dying moments in this third and final round. Yeah, good left hook from the bulldozer on the back foot. Let's get uh, the round! Unfortunately, uh, I think this fight is definitely going to be a little John. Uh, little John. We go yeah, to the judges' scorecards. Please uh, have a representative of the network video, video, video to the decision. centering. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of Muay Thai action, the judges have made their decision. Your winner, unanimous points, red corner, Little John. And a very happy Little John there in the centering, taking out the first bout of the night. We've been a great sponsor from Network Video and Almost.